Hey, Pokemon trainers, welcome to another edition of Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. Uh, so let's jump into a Torrential Cannon today. It's a Monday, uh, feeling pretty good today. Uh, so let's jump into a Torrential Cannon, uh, see if we can get, can't get our old win streak back up a little bit higher than one. Just came off a Relentless Flame, um, and you can see how that went. So go ahead and go check that out if you haven't already. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's just do some Torrential Cannon, see how we can do here. Hopefully we can take a win with this one. That would be nice. It would be nice to, uh, to end the day on a win. Although I don't know. I don't know. Um, leaf Charge. Strong deck. We do know that. Tails. Leaf Charge is a super strong deck. But I am extremely familiar with um, Leaf Charge. And I definitely don't want to go first. Uh, yeah. Uh, just to prevent any, any Manectric. Uh, shenanigans going on um, already I feel pretty good about this hand let's far fetched uh, Pidgey we have Pokemon fan club we have copycat uh, so we're not doing too bad uh, I think this opening hand is pretty good Pokemon fan club is always nice to have in the old opening hand um, so let's see what our opponent comes up with so they did have a lantern a grow vial all that junk we already know what's in there uh, I just wanted to see if they had any Manectrics. Because that would have been fantastic. If they did. Yes, let's absolutely draw a card. A Nest Ball is nice as well. Uh, and we're going to need to take a turn one collect. So, I mean, what more could you ask for? Really? I don't think very much. So it looks like my opponent might be off to a very slow start. Nope, she's got a nest ball. So let's see, see what she comes up with. Okay, Orange Guru. Good choice. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. It's hard to tell. Hard to tell which direction my opponent will be going in this early in the game. Oh, this is pretty standard. Nice lady. Getting lots and lots of energies just in case. Uh, that would make us give us a really good copycat next turn too. I might forego Pokemon Fan Club. Uh, you know what? No, no, no. Let's let's not play that game again. Uh, let's go for the safer play and do Pokemon Fan Club. That'll get us a Squirtle and another Pidgey on the board. We'll grab Psyduck with this one. And we won't take a super greedy play. And we'll we'll be able to get a decent copycat next turn. There's no reason to rush it. Alright. Let's grab these big boys. Get them back up on the board. And we'll take a collect. Bang. Alright, not too bad. So if my opponent's hand stays huge, we will certainly um, copycat. Although, no. Either way... Either way, I feel like Farfetch'd might not, well, he might die. Farfetch'd and something else is going to get smacked. My two Pidgeys. My poor, poor Pidgeys. Alright, let's, um, do I want a timer ball? I think I do. Before we Cynthia, right? We'll grab a Pidgeotto, I think. Nah, because my opponent's already already staring down my... Uh... Golduck might, be, not, might not be bad. Because um, I can just put him in, and then he can um, Amnesia. Ah, that might be too slow. I kind of wanted to get Pidgeotto, but um, unfortunately Pidgeotto is not anywhere in my deck. So if my opponent wants to kill those two Pidgeys... She may have it. So let's grab a Golduck. I think this is going to be our best course of action. Um, and then we'll Cynthia. Do I want to switch first? To keep that energy? I don't think it's that big of a deal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, uh, copycat's better. I wish I could kill Chin Chow right now. Kukui could do it. With a tool buster and something else. I don't even know. 
Because this isn't weak, is it? No. Um, it would be better to have Golduck in the uh, in the driver's seat. Nah, we'll save it. We'll save it. That's going to be too slow. Copycat. We'll save the switch. <laughs> there you go. We have plenty of switches. Switches for everybody. Alright, not too bad. Uh, I wish that draw was a little bit better. But we do have another Cynthia and another Copycat. Uh, Pokemon Fan Club. I, I, you know, War Turtle, whatever. It would have been nice. Uh, maybe a Lantern right now? Maybe. Yep. All right, one ten. Uh, and actually, you know what? Um, Amnesia is gonna work out pretty well on Lantern because it'll just prevent that thing from attacking. Uh, period. So, even if I lose my Farfetch, which I will, uh, and I'm glad I got that other draw off of Farfetch. Uh, but even if I lose my Farfetch, um, Golduck's gonna be really effective against Lantern, sort of no matter what. Another far-fetched. Energy. Copycat again? That's fine, I think. I think using copycats earlier is better than using Cynthia's. We'll just save the Cynthia's for the end game. Um, just in case our opponent has a little bitty hand later on. Uh, but right now we're just trading fat hands. Um, and I think that's okay. A little bit too... <laughs> what even are these hands? Can I have a war turtle, please? Please? All right, so we're going to be able to swim next turn. That's going to put us at um, Killing Lantern. And it's really nice because we put Lantern in a position where it needs to discharge or discard two energies um, just to get off the active position. Um, and my opponent has no attackers uh, waiting in the wings. So this Lantern is going to go down or something else is going to go down. I don't know what it is, but uh, well, we'll look for it, right? We're going to look for it. So this shouldn't be too bad. These uh these Pokemon with one with one attack. Okay, looks like it's gonna be a little big little leaf blade. Hopefully my opponent doesn't hit the heads here. Uh, because if she does, then this will be absolutely over. Oh no! Well played, my friend. Well played. Oh, that was awful. That was absolutely awful. I don't think I could have done anything with that. Those two draws were absolutely awful. Let's jump into another Tarantula Cannon. Um, yeah, there's some salt there. I'll admit it. But um, getting that heads, man. Getting that heads, that was insane. I suppose it was a 50-50 chance. But, uh, man, that was awful. I, you know, maybe maybe I could have done something. I, you know what? I'm not going to lament over it. I, I we'll look forward to the next game. Uh, I may have been able to do something with the uh, the hand that I had, but it, it, nothing was really coming out, and I didn't have any energy or anything. I didn't have a Blastoise, uh, so I think it was pretty much over at that point. Um, so we're gonna go up against the the old mirror match, and uh, and we've have had some success in the past going up against mirror matches, and um, and like rushing Psyducks and stuff like that. Um, and that works out really well for sniping things off the uh, off the bench. Uh, we did learn in a tournament before that um, pretty much anything that's not stage two in that deck can get. Uh, actually, not that's not true. Golduck cannot be um, sniped. However, War Turtle can be sniped. Pidgeotto can be sniped. Uh, any of the stage ones can be sniped. Farfetch can be sniped. Any pretty much anything on the board can be sniped except uh, War Turtle and um, and Golduck. Uh, by Golduck, right? By Golduck. Um, so having a Golduck out on the board, or having two Golducks out on the board, is really super effective against the, this deck in particular. So that is the strategy that I'm going to push, uh, and that I'm going to commit to here coming off, because it would really be really nice to be able to uh, knock off this Squirtle right off the bat, or even if it's a War Turtle, to knock off the War Turtle right off the bat. Um, so I'm definitely going to um, Pokemon Fan Club here. Let's go ahead and do this right. And if I can get two Psyducks, I will. And if I have two Golducks, I'll be happy. There we go. All right, looks like we have pretty much everybody uh, in the deck, except for Pidgeotto. Where are my Pidgeottos? You guys see this, right? 
That's two games in a row that I prized two Pidgeotos. This is insane. They took him out of my deck. They took him out of my deck. So let's go ahead and do Psyduck, Psyduck. We'll do a collect. We'll how next turn. Um, be really, really nice to have a Pidgeotto right now. At least one. This is absolutely insane. But hopefully off of the Cynthia, we can grab a couple of Golducks. And, uh, and if we can grab a couple of Golducks, we'll be in really good shape to um, to snipe that Squirtle or Wartortle or whatever it turns into. So let's start getting energy up here. Let's Cynthia, because I really don't need all of this in my hand. I don't need two Brox Grits. Let's, let's be real here. All right, so there's one Golduck, which I'm very happy with. Um, we're going to leave... Farfetch in the active position so that Farfetch can continue collecting and we're going to continue loading energy onto our gold duck. Uh, Kukui next turn will be nice. Yeah, I think I'll Kukui next turn. I want to look for Pidgeotto, but it's all in here. It's absolute madness. It's absolute madness that I would that I would prize them like that twice. Both of them twice. Crazy. It's craziness. But that's fine. So my opponent is pushing for his Blastoises. Um, and I'm going to be pushing for my Gold Ducks. So it looks like we're going to be running a slightly different um, play here. Uh, maybe not. I mean, I got a Gold Duck up first. And my opponent does not have a Gold Duck or a War Turtle or much of anything else. If I could get one more energy on my Gold Duck, that would be very nice uh, this turn. But I will not be able to. Should I copycat here? Yeah, let's copycat and see if we can't grab something else better. This should be okay. Sometimes I feel like I overuse these types of things. I don't need a third Psyduck, although it would may not hurt to have a third Psyduck up. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go for all Psyduck. I'm going to go all Psyduck all day. Because I don't have any Pidgeotos, so those spots are open. Um, and next turn we'll be able to just start blasting things off of my opponent's bench. Uh, we don't have our switch anymore, so there's that. Uh, Golduck, whatever, Golduck is going to be Golduck. Uh, but we're going to, we're going to blast off this Squirtle first. Uh, and then we'll see where we're going to go for there. I imagine we'll get Amnesia after that, and then we can just Amnesia back, Amnesia or whatever. I don't know. Maybe I don't want to do that because I want to Amnesia swim from that one, but... Either way, it shouldn't be too bad. Another energy. All right, I'm just going to keep, like, sort of power drawing here um, and trying to three, four, five, six, seven, and really just trying to grab um, the pieces that I need because I really need War Turtles um, and I need Blastoises, which we got a War Turtle, so that's nice. Um, so that puts us one step closer. Uh, let's take out. Let's go ahead and swim away this one. We'll get rid of it. Uh, and we'll take a prize off of that. Not a Pidgeotto. Of course it's not a Pidgeotto. Why would it be a Pidgeotto? Um, so I'm going to need to figure out which one of those prize cards is a Pidgeotto. Or which two are Pidgeottos. Uh, and I just don't know. I just... I don't know. I can... Well, I have Blastoise, so I can start doing Powerful Squalls next turn. And I think I will Cynthia next turn as well, um, just to get another Gold Duck up. Um, and then maybe we'll get Brock's Grid or something. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll do something. But I imagine maybe my War Turtle is going to go down right now, which is not that big of a deal, right? Because I am employing a lot of... Actually, it's not because Gold Duck only has Amnesia. Um, so that's fine. Um, and then I can put Blastoise in and then just Blastoise this Gold Duck away. Uh, so I think that's going to work out actually pretty well. Uh, and that only leaves me one energy to make up on my uh, on my gold duck. So that should be good. That should be an okay um, train of thought there. To be able to Blastoise this turn. Um, because I know I'm not going to get swum, swam, swimmed, swum. I don't even know. I know I'm not going to get um, swim done on me. 
um, this turn, but I will get amnesia, and then I can just retreat this back out, and it'll be fine. I'll be fine with all of this. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy with where we're at right now, and if I can grab this other war, if I can grab this war turtle off the board, that would be beautiful. That would be absolutely beautiful. And my opponent does not know that I have my Blastoise in hand, and hopefully I can grab enough energy off the, uh, off the powerful squall. That's going to be the thing that's going to um, sort of dictate this next move is the powerful squall. Because if I can get three on War Turtle, uh, we'll be in a really good position. And I'm not sure if I want to Cynthia. I think I do here uh, just to throw these back in the deck and give us a better chance. Although I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's a. I've seen it in the past, right? It's a. It's a real crapshoot. You can. You can. Powerful squall before a shuffle. Powerful squall after a shuffle. It, it, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. And really, we only need to grab two. Um, uh, let's do it. Come on, baby. No. 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 That's fine. Well, amnesia, amnesia. Um, timer ball. No. Switch. No. To what even? Nothing. Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't do anything. That's fine. Let's amnesia, amnesia. Uh, and we don't even have to worry about swim for the next turn. Uh, unless my opponent does get a... Uh, <laughs> does get his Blastoise. I didn't, I didn't even think about that. If my opponent gets his Blastoise and hits a good powerful Squall, we're going to be in trouble. Maybe I should have uh, amnesia swim. That may have been better. Yeah, I should have amnesia swim. That would have been much better. But, I mean, at the same time, Blastoise isn't going anywhere. Goldux isn't going anywhere. Psyduck can go somewhere. I don't care. Farfetch'd, whatever. Pidgey, whatever. Uh, all those can get knocked off my board, and I, I won't mind. So it looks like my opponent does get just enough to do a swim. Um... And that's fine because I can I can all I need to powerful squall for next turn is one, uh, and Blastoise will be ready to go. And I have a switch in hand, so I'm not. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be too broken up about this. Even if I lose this gold duck, that's fine because I still have plenty of powerful squalls ready to go. And another gold duck waiting, and a side duck waiting. All right, we have everything waiting. Um, and I think I'll go for Pidgeotto next uh, for my next swipe, uh, snipe, swipe, snipe, whatever you want to call it. If my opponent doesn't kill my Gold Duck, um, that would be questionable. Okay, so not bad. Uh, let's put. I, it really needs to be Blastoise because I don't want to have to frivolously put energy onto whatever to do whatever. Oh, I have a switch, so Blastoise is fine. And then maybe I can I can um, preserve that. And that's fine. I could timer ball. I maybe want to wait. Let's powerful squall, see what we get. Two, that's perfect. We'll put these here. Actually, do we want to put these here? Oh, I can't remember if I already attached energy. I don't think so. Let's put these here. Because I'd much rather lose this gold duck than uh, lose my Blastoise. Uh, and that makes it to where we can still powerful squall or not whatever we already powerful squalled um, but you know what I mean you guys know what I mean I really I kind of want to wait to do a timer ball until I can get this other gold duck back in the deck that would be nice let's swim and take out Pidgeotto because that's really really helping out my opponent um, and that's something that I don't have <laughs> That's it. This this is it. This is the game of the century. This is the best game I've ever played in my entire life. I can't even get a Pidgeotto. Oh, man. 
energy, both energies. This is madness. This is absolute madness. Maybe I should have killed Golduck. I don't know. I think getting Pidgeotto off the board's fine. Um, because if my opponent wants to trade um, Swims, we're ahead. Uh, so I don't mind. Brock's Grit would be good. Uh, I don't mind losing a Squirtle. Really, I don't. So hopefully we can pull a Brock's Grit. Nope. Alrighty. Let's put this here. That's fine. Uh, I don't need to do anything with any of this. Let's kill Golduck this time. And then we'll be ready to go for Blastoise. Yeah. So I think this is going to be a pretty... Come on, Pidgeotto. You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be joking. This is it. This is the game of the century. That made me extremely sad. <laughs> My god! Can you believe it? I can't even pull a piece. That's three energies. Absolute madness. Pidgeotto, come on. I need. I really need Pidgeot on the board. Oh, I need Brock's Grit, too. Brock's Grit really badly. I need my Psyducks and my Golducks back. Uh, because I think this Golduck's going to be dead. Yeah. And that's fine, because that puts us in a lovely spot to kill Blastoise. With our Blastoise. Come on, Brock's Grit. Kukui. Not exactly what I'm looking for. Um, let's Kukui, just for the draw. Let's Howl, just for the draw, Jesus. I wish I could Howl right now. Uh, yeah, let's Hydro Tackle this thing. Powerful Squall for two, I guess. We'll put both of them there. Maybe it would be better to put him on Pidgey. I don't know. This thing's going to die. Uh, for a big 170. Jeez. Come on, Pidgeotto. There it is. Finally. I guess I guess once it gets down to it, right? I guess once it gets down to it, you just can't help but draw Pidgeotto out of the out of the prize pile. Um, not too bad. We're going to be able to get another powerful Squall off. Uh, we may lose our ability to do... Um, trainer cards but that's fine we have the Pidgeotto we have the blast well I don't need that Blastoise we have the Pidgeot uh, and we have our Blastoise that's still capable of doing um, powerful squalls so overall we're in a really good position our opponent's board is um, beat all to heck um, but he does have le uh, more left in his deck than we do I think uh, this Cynthia probably is going to help out Sixty. If I can pull a gold duck with my Pidgeotto, that would be great. Okay, we expected that, um, and it's not too big of a deal. But we did grab the win, um, so I was pretty happy with that game. I, I think that sniping um, strategy outplays the. Uh, Blastoise strategy uh, when there's a, in, a, in a mirror match uh, and I think I recommend you guys always go for the sniping strategy when playing against another water deck because they are very susceptible to snipes as we saw with Torrential Cannon very susceptible to snipes and also um, Hydro Fury is very susceptible to snipes uh, and I think that's really the only worthwhile water deck that's being played right now um, but yeah uh, I hope you guys had a really fun time watching I had a super fun time playing uh, that first game. My goodness. Let's never talk about that again. Uh, second game, pretty cool. Uh, I had a fun time playing. I'll see you guys in the next one.